trapped within this desert wasteland. The sands of time blow ceaselessly. But it's not going to end like this. I'm going to find my way out of here. I swear it. The information came from a credible source. He's here, all right. He should be hiding out somewhere on Rosa. Desert Claw? He's one of the galaxy's top hunters. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of dosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Can't believe he'd be wasting his time on this slave rock. Don't worry, he's somewhere on this planet. My instincts are infallible. <laughs> like I'm gonna trust a robot's instincts. I would if I were you. They're quite uncanny. Besides, I can use this to determine whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave it to Steve, all right? Really? Well, the captain will be pretty cheesed off if we don't find him. So you'd better come through on this. I know, I know. Tuckered out, huh? You did well, boy. Two medium-sized mish. Okay, pal, you met your quota. And here's your pay. Huh? Is that all? Can't you spare a little extra? We didn't bring that much with us, you know. <laughs> Besides, slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our rations. <laughs> I'm not doing this for my health, you know. This is all that I got today. Those long guardians are getting a little too big for their britches. You gonna let them get away with it? No, no. Don't get so worked up over it. It's been two years since Rose has been under Longardian rule. They're still struggling to get used to this place. We'll get our chance soon enough. <sighs> Man, why did Rosa have to get mixed up in this war? <sighs> it used to be such a peaceful planet. The Longardians aren't all bad, though. Now that their lookouts are posted at the gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. But the whole reason they're posted there is to keep an eye on us. What the? Seems I spoke too soon. There's a beast in town. A pretty big one by the looks of it. All right, I'll take care of it. Jaster, wait. Don't worry, I'll behave. Thing? This is bad. It's heading for the residential area. Huh? Damn. I'm surrounded. Don't sweat it. These foes are nothing. They just rode in on the big guy's coattails. Huh? Who are you? Let's finish these chumps off first. Here we go!
You're pretty strong. <laughs> that wasn't even a warm-up. Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. More importantly, the big fella went off toward the residential area. That beast is worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000? What are you, some kind of hunter? Pretty much. Ooh, it's awfully noisy all of a sudden. It would appear a beast has invaded the town. What luck! The Desert Claw would never pass up a chance to score a load of points like this. Let's go check it out. Are you bonkers? It's way too dangerous! Come on, this way! Hey! Uh, wait for me! Wait. Huh? Now we go our separate ways. What? What do you mean? I can't go with you anymore. Sorry. Just go into the residential area and take down that big brute. Hey! Hold on a second. I can't take that thing out by myself. You don't think so? Here, try this. It's much better than that butter knife of yours. And this. What's this? A battle recorder. It'll capture the fight from start to finish. You ought to get a lot of points for bagging that fella. Go on, take it with you. See you later. No, wait! How can you just leave me here? Half bad kid, huh? Oh, oh my! Could could it be, Steve? Oh, what's going on? J -j 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 Just look! Come on, what is it? Yes. There's no doubt about it. And see what he's got there. That's Desert Claw's weapon. Desert Seeker, one of the seven sacred galactic swords. So that means that you must be... <gasps> the legendary hunter, Desert Claw! The... the... the what? Oh, I can't believe how lucky we are to think we found him this quickly. No kidding! I told you he'd be on this planet, didn't I? Didn't I? See? Well now, aren't we the lucky ones? Mission accomplished. Let's head on back. Come on, come on, you too, mister. Whoa, wait a second. What are you trying to do? Look, I've got to take care of that beast up there. You're in my way. Ah, why bother? I mean, it's such a chore. Come to our ship, and we'll give you all kinds of sweet jobs that beat the pants off plain old beast hunting. Come on! Ah, uh, knock it off! I have to go now, or that thing is gonna destroy the town! Let me go! That's our Desert Claw, a man of unbending determination. Ah, whatever you say. We'll accompany you on your hunting trip, but when this little escapade's over, you're coming with us. Is that a deal? Huh? Why should I? Then it's settled. Let's be on our way. The residential area is beyond here. Gosh, he's not a quiet fella, is he? 
must be rather large as well. You're not planning on having all three of us go in there, are you? You want to fight them all by yourself? No, not at all. That's crazy, totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw, I think you forfeit any points you earn if you, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, hey, wait up! Poor kid. We hardly knew him. There it is. That is certainly a big monster, all right. Are you positive about this, Mr. Claw? Like I have a choice. Whoa, this thing is huge! We cannot run away from this one. Take this! Come on, come on! Watch and don't get crushed! to break the shackles on its legs, then the shield on its back will open up! Let's hurry up and break the other shackles! for this kind of situation. What's that? I'll tell you later. Watch this. What the? That's my monography shot. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Jump on the back of those monography platforms and you can get up on the back of the beast. Here you go, big man. Why don't you take this for now? When the platform disappears, just shoot up another one. But remember, you must equip the monography shot first before you can use it. Now's your chance! Go get him, Mr. Claw!
I do it? Nope. I'm afraid not. But you're almost there. Is the battle recorder ready? That kind of beast will net you heaps of points. Make sure you get it all on tape. What? You mean this? Oh, now that is a well-used recorder. Use that to record your battle with the beast. And later on, you can turn it in for points. Now finish off the beast by yourself. After all, it's your prize. All right. Then here goes. Its heart has stopped, but it's still being controlled by the power of the rune. Destroy the rune in its head. Oh, come on. Like a legendary hunter needs your help. Hmm. I get the feeling he sort of does. I wonder why. Is he really Desert Claw? I suppose looks can be deceiving. A real master doesn't need to show off. He may not look it, but he's got the goods. Just as I thought, his potential may be greater than my own. So listen, Mr. Claw, you got a real name or something? Huh? Huh? Oh yeah. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Jaster, eh? Good. It's a bit weird to keep calling you Desert Claw. So from now on, if it's all right with you, I'm just gonna call you Jaster, okay? Now, let's get down to business. I'll be straight with you. Our boss says he wants to hire you. Would you come with us? Hire me? What? Why me? Good grief, isn't it obvious? You're Desert Claw, the legendary bounty hunter. And our boss, well, he wants to be a part of that. Let's just say he's scouting you for our team. These guys still think I'm someone named Desert Claw. That means he must be Desert Claw. I had no idea he was such a big deal. What is it, Jaster? Are you feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. So who is it that wants to hire me, exactly? Our boss, Captain Dorgan Goa. A pirate among pirates. What? Dorgan Goa? The space pirate Dorgan Goa? You mean, you guys do space travel? Of course. We're big-time pirates. We travel all over the galaxy. I mean, hunting has its moments, but tracking down immense treasure throughout the universe isn't half bad. Me. A 
up in space. Yeah, I can see that. Not half bad at all. Our ship is hidden in the desert to the west of here. Why don't you meet up with us there? In the desert? Well, you know, we had a couple of minor issues and we couldn't actually dock at the spaceport. But look, we'll head back to the ship first. You come meet us there before tomorrow morning. All right? All right. Ta-da! Hey, wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Oh, you'll be there, all right. I can see it in your eyes. You were made for the pirate life. To find our ship, you need to take the west gate and head straight over the desert. Please be sure to prepare for your journey before setting out. We'll be seeing you later. Ta-ta! <sighs> Jester. Uh, Raoul, what are you doing here? Thought you could just leave without saying anything? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to try to stop me. Me? Stop you? I... I want to leave this planet and travel through space. I want to see new things and learn about this vast galaxy we live in. It's been my dream since I was little. Come on, Raoul. What do you say? <sighs> I'm sorry, Raoul. Thank you so much for raising me and taking care of me. Well, I'm off. Wait. I always knew this day would come. Do you remember when you were just a boy? We'd always look up at the stars together. Yeah. Of course I remember. We'd gaze up at the stars and talk about outer space. You know, Raul, I've made up my mind. I want to go into space one day. Really? And what would you do out there? Huh? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I still want to go, for sure. Can I, Raul? Huh? Can I? Of course you can, Jester. You can do anything you want. Uh-huh. Right now, your eyes are shining just like they were back then. Self-assured, straightforward eyes. I don't think I could stop you if I tried. Go, Jester. But I want you to remember something. You're the only family I've got. From the moment I first held you, a crying little baby, 17 years ago, I've come to think of you as my son. And that, my boy, will never, ever change. Raoul. I'll be waiting here for your return. I'm sure it'll be a little lonely. Raoul. Someday, I'm gonna save everyone on this planet. I can't let Rosa remain in slavery forever. Then I'll stay here, hoping and praying for your success. Take care of yourself, Jester.
that's Dorgan Goa's ship, huh? And so comes the end of one long day. Come dawn, I'll be leaving this planet. Something up there is waiting for me. I can feel it. And that's why... I'm going into space. It's almost morning. Hey, Chester! Over here, big man! Hey! Whoa! Uh, what gives? Uh, uh, uh. What the?
Now that's what I call a close shave. Seeing monsters that big and ugly nearly sent me into a tailspin myself. We didn't mean to leave you out there like that. We fully intended to come back for you later, I swear. It doesn't matter. I got saved in the end. Listen, that girl back there. You mean Kasala? Wow, you sure don't waste any time. That's Desert Claw for you. Listen, though. Don't you be getting any ideas, big man. To tell you the truth, she's... <laughs> so this is the guy. The legendary hunter, Desert Claw. Are you... Captain Dorgan Goa? Huh? <laughs> hey, Bolthead, set this kid straight. Ooh. Allow me to introduce Zegram Gart, the Black Wolf. He's a bounty hunter handpicked by our boss, like you. He's skilled all right, but he's got a big job on him. Says he's a lone wolf. I think he just doesn't have any friends. I hate teaming up with small fries. Never expected Desert Claw to be such a youngster. Guess you can't trust rumors, can ya? <laughs> anyway, nice to meet ya. Desert Claw. Hey! So you're Desert Claw? Hmm. Wait, you're... One and only, first mate, Muncha! Uh... Is the captain still napping? Oh, he can be such a pain. Oh! The Desert Claw has a shrewd look about him. That's what the captain would have said. I'm sure of it. When the captain's not around, I'm the one in charge. And Desert Claw or not, you'd better follow orders. You got that? Uh... Okay. Excellent! Now that that's out of the way, you're an official crew member on the Dorganok! All right! Now that we have the legendary hunter Desert Claw on our side, nothing can stop us! The treasures of the universe are ours for the taking! <sighs> ship going? I'm not sure. Maybe to some planet somewhere. Really? What do they have on other planets? Well, all sorts of things. Like what? What kind of things do you mean? I've never been myself, so I don't really know. Ah, oh, Raul, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I happen to like this planet. As long as I can live here, I'll be satisfied. Really? Then I want to go into space. I want to explore the galaxy and see what it's like out there. Oh, really? I'm sure you will one day. Yep, and I bet it'll be super cool. And when I come back, I'll tell you all about it, Raul. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> hmm. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. So, what do we do now? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Now we head for Zerard. Zerard? Goodness, haven't you heard of it? It's very advanced. The most civilized planet in the galaxy. So, why are we going there? We've got some important business there. Dorgan Ark, full speed ahead! Aye, aye! Your instructions will follow. Now, I've got some lunch to eat, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be seeing you all later. Meow! You can take it easy too, Mr. Rogue. 
Perhaps you'd like to have a look around the ship while we're in transit. Good idea. I mean, after all, this place is your home now, isn't it? Thanks for saving me earlier. Oh, it was nothing. Not bad, huh? That's because I'm a pirate, too. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh. I always pictured Desert Claw as someone a little more intimidating. Huh? But you've got awfully pretty eyes. Uh. Hmm. You sure don't look uh. like a battle-hardened hero. In fact, you uh, might just be a big huh, fake. Uh, um, I... Look! It's the Rose Nebula! What? <sighs> it's beautiful. love this place. I don't know why, but looking at the stars somehow calms me. Hmm. Same here. I've always wanted to be up in space. My dreams finally come true. <laughs> you sure don't sound like the galaxy's top bounty hunter. Well, uh, I mean... So what? I guess. My name's Kisala. Nice to meet you, Desert Claw. I'm Jaster. Jaster Rogue. Hi. Jaster? Oh, right. Have you met Papa yet? Papa? My dad, Dorgangoa. He's the captain of this ship. What? So, you're... Right. His daughter. <laughs> What the?
bridge! Heave! Oh, heave! Oh, the, the, the heave! Heave! Oh, heave! Close oh. the hatch! How did we let beasts get so close? Our radar's gone haywire at the worst possible time! I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours! Listen, there's um, something you all need to know. This ship has gone completely out of control! What? Steve! You have got to be kidding me! This is bad! Very, very bad! We're trapped in Jamaica's gravity field! But what do we do? I don't know! Whoa! We're gonna crash! We better find a nice soft forest to land in or it's curtains for all of us! I'd be most happy to! If only I could steer! Oh, I thought we were done for. Ow. <laughs> I'm alive! We were supposed to go to Zarad, but just our luck, we've crash-landed on Jeraika of all places. Whoop-dee-doo! So, this is Jeraika, the jungle planet. Well, can you fix it? Almost everything can be repaired right away, but the engine... This is definitely going to take some time. Oh no! This is just fantastic! The fixes are no big thing, but we're all out of booster oil! You're kidding! Now what? There aren't any starship markets on Jerica. What are we supposed to do? Come on. That's no way for a bunch of space pirates to act. All right, listen up, you rank amateurs. That oil is made from the fruit of a particular tree that has highly flammable sap. Apparently, that fruit grows on a certain jungle planet. I think you get my drift. Of course, that's right. I remember now. The booster oil we need comes from this fire fruit that's harvested here on Jerica. If we can get a hold of some of that fruit, we'd be able to make more oil with it. Very good, Bolthead. Fire fruit, huh? Let's go. Simon, Steve, we'll leave the repairs to you. Aye, aye. Did we have to land on such a sweltering planet? <laughs> 